Good afternoon, family. How are you all doing on this Sunday afternoon? Okay, I'm hoping you all had a fabulous weekend as we are ending it up. Okay, and don't forget to check out our channel after the Real Housewives of Atlanta air tonight because you know your girl is going to be over here breaking down what she felt about the whole episode okay and as usual i like my family in the house with me so they can congregate we can talk about some things and see can we mix it up y'all might have saw some things that i didn't catch or i may have saw some things you didn't even think you saw but i needed to bring it to your attention okay but that's what we do over here. But before I go in and talk about uh, this story we have on Candy Burris and her restaurant, uh, OLG, being shot up on this Valentine's Day, we're going to get into some news we can use when it, when it uh, comes to people that don't want to come over to the channel you know we got to regulate we got to straighten some people out so we don't fall to the wayside and just have any and everybody coming over here thinking they can be a part of the family so i said that to say this let me pay attention and bring attention to what is her name samantha brown yes she was at the doorstep we didn't let her in because she had played some foul type of uh, language I call it foul language because when you come over to the house you already know what house you're coming to it's a family affair we all know each other over here and we know what we're coming over here to do and that's to talk shit each and every time we get a chance to do so okay about mindless entertainment okay but this uh young lady uh by the name of Samantha Brown I gave her time to be on our platform just on the outside now hold on that's elijah okay i'm back y'all but yeah um i gave her time to sit and brew on the outside because you know only family is meant to be on the inside so we had to keep her out on the porch for a couple of days i'm thinking she may have put this um comment out on saturday might have been friday but like i said i go through my timeline and i try to sit and read every one of you all's posts because i like to that's what i do and when i want to shout you all out you know i'm right there on the horn blowing y'all whistles okay throwing up love in the air for y'all to catch and hug on yourselves because i'm hugging on y'all but uh, Samantha Brown asked me a question. She said, lady, do you watch the show? Okay. She's speaking of, I guess, some commentary I had did on uh, Candy Burris or, you know, my housewives. Y'all know how we go over here. And my question to her, uh, do you watch me? Evidently, you're watching from a window trying to get in because evidently you're not in the house. Because I would have recognized you by now. But yes, honey, don't ever come to our platform, the one that I created, and you all congregated and navigated to, found me, loved me, and holding on dear to me like I am to you all. Don't ever come over to the house with no content of lady, do you? No, first and foremost, all right? My name is not lady. It's Deb Chanel, okay? Get into it. And then it's Mrs. Deb Chanel, if you're nasty, okay? But fam know how to address fam know how to come over into the driveway i don't even know how you got in a got on the street but in a way it's a free street but you got in the driveway and you had to sit on the porch so now we have to tell you what we think about you since you had to call yourself sitting on the porch writing me a letter saying do i watch see you have a problem the solution is to stop watching the show okay stop watching from the windows and you will have much success at another platform okay meaning another channel i suggest you go there because you're not wanted over here at the family affair all right like i said i had you at the doorstep now or the porch you might want to call it now you can get in your vehicle or however you came down here uh trying to not but could not get in and go henceforth forevermore okay now let's move on to someone else because after you all view this particular video 
if you haven't saw it, uh, her comment, you probably won't see it again because I'm pretty much have already erased it because I gave her two day of fame or one day of fame for people to watch it and she felt she was getting me together. But like I said, you come over to the house, you may get me. Uh, to straighten you out or you might get one of my family members and of course we don't like family members to get into it you know so I let them fall back and say I got it okay just like when you get into them comments you best be sure that you need to be staying on topic giving me and the rest of the family your idea or your perspective on subject matter because if you start going into each other then that's when i come out and i would have to regulate okay and i don't when you're already family we don't we're not nice about our regular uh regulating ceremonies over here we get you together quick fast and i hurry and make sure you understand it okay so that's why i'm addressing samantha brown because she's not family okay never will be family so i'm sure you're gonna have to Make up another name and come in. But if that person starts acting like how you acted, then that person will get blocked as well. We will put them on blast because they wanted their time. They wanted their fame. They wanted their fortune. And I gave it to you. I saw it when you posted it. I was like, okay, I'll let her stay there because she evidently needs some attention. But when you come to the house the way you came, all fake, fraudulent, full of fuckery and foolery, I had to say shit on you, okay? No, you're not for the family affair, and we must remove you altogether. Now, we're going to be done with her because we don't want to be bothered anymore. And just to add a piece to that, she asked also, Todd don't want his daughter to be spoiled. That's why... Uh, Candy can't do anything. That's bullshit. Candy can do whatever she wants to. When she said she wanted to bought, pay for, and hold up that man, she did it. And he's there reaping all of the benefits. Why should he get spoiled? Why should he get be given everything that he didn't work for? But yet, he don't want to share it with his daughter. If you with that mentality, you need to be with Todd. Okay, and all his ways of thinking, but we don't care for Todd when he does the things that he do. And like I said, Karma is a woman and she's going to come back and bite him in his ass and anybody else that want to treat people wrong. Okay, we're moving on from you. We're going to go to, uh, let's see, Josephine uh glenn something okay we just gonna stay at josephine she said i was full of shit well particularly i think everybody's full of shit biologically because they're called taking in food it getting digested and it has to come out someone's asshole so i'm pretty sure everybody's full of shit but in essence i think uh, you're correct. I am full of shit. I just released myself a couple of hours ago. I feel so good, but I did eat, so I got more shit to uh shit out. Okay, but I know you said it in a way where it was I was spewing out stuff that you didn't agree with. Well, guess what? In life, nobody agrees with each other unless you're a sheep following the many. I am not a sheep. I am an individualist. I uh dance to my own tune and my own beat i have my own opinion my perspectives and my objectives okay so if that makes me full of shit then i guess that once again i am thank you all right but like you said you unsubscribe good got it fabulous don't come back now if you like one of my videos don't even come back to view it all right just pass me along i just say pat well, it did say, do not pass me by, O oh, gentle Savior. Okay, but that's in the holy realm. And with, right now, you're not talking, acting holy, and neither am I. But to say that, to say this, goodbye. Don't want to see you where the Lord could have split you. Okay, but getting on from there, we're going to say, uh, Nathan Payne. Nathan Payne, uh, mothers are not always correct. No, they're not. We only try to do the best we can with what we were given with. There's no true rule book on how you should raise your child on way to go. But if some of it's biblical and then some of it is by happenstance, hap, you know, happenstance through life and experiences. Because it's both, both of you all are learning and going as it is. But long as you ain't killed nobody in an instance, you didn't kill the baby, you know, growing up because they got so all fake, fraudulent, full of fuckery and, and, and the 
fuckery and you know you didn't have to put our hands on them too much then okay they survived their childhood all right so everybody should be very pleased with that but no in essence mothers are not always right nathan Payne. but a shout out to nathan Payne. he was a newcomer over to the house we enjoyed all the conversation we enjoyed all the conversation that angela croxton had put down welcome baby welcome my other ones are pat mitchell we had freddie uh, childress or childress we had trap town ncs in the house we had eugenia washington joyce ireland pensy francis latoya henry um and thank you latoya henry for letting me know who had their youtube channel first was it candy burris or was it nene leaks and you uh solidified me with that information saying it was nene leaks all right now see that's what i'm saying candy always going around trying to do what other people have already done okay but she trying to say she want to make it better bullshit okay i enjoyed nene's commentary even though it was kind of long-winded or whatnot but both of y'all have your own flavor so i I'll say yes you had to like you uh call yourself forgetting what og meant or the term og so you can with that mentality you will never be an og okay because you just don't have the spice to put on that flavor of substance of what you're trying to dab and show okay and floss around hence what's what's going on at your restaurant all right but we're gonna get to that short quick fast in a hurry but i'm still giving my shout outs to my family okay we got portia williams i don't know if that's the portia williams on the real housewives of atlanta just going on incognito but if it is hey girl hey but if it's not hey girl i love you as my family member anyway if you're just a plain old individual doing the darn thing out there in the world portia williams thank you for being a part of family affair then we got boo bear hey boo bear hey food for thought thank you for stopping by again who that nola thank you for sharing your opinions jenny j thank you tommy gone 215 hey secret encounter love you love you glad you came by uh city king 91 thank you for stopping by and um miss stacy m jackson i was looking for tia burger from atlanta black star a brute and brighter a beautiful bright uh star driven uh journalist over at atlanta black star why she didn't do nothing on candy birds i was looking for her commentary but she didn't write one up okay maybe she's going to or maybe she's working on another salacious story. But I can't wait to break it out on my channel. Okay. Hey, Stacy, girl. Tell T. I said, hey. And y'all got hugs from me to you. All right. But that's all I think I had. Well, no. Wait a minute. We had Cat Mo 59. She said, I talk like Aunt Bertha. Now, I'm going to take that as a compliment. Because I like Aunt Bertha myself. Because she get people together. And I think I get people together pretty well in my personal life as as well as in my professional life and as in my comedian slash entertainment youtube content creator i think i get y'all correct over here as well as you all do me that's what family is all about we check each other okay like nene lee said to kenya and uh, now uh, candy birds we see each other and that's is what my family definitely give me over here in all aspects of my life if they see me uh being like a spade running around here they call me out if they see it, f- feel like i'm full of fake fuckery foolishness fraudulent shit going on they check me out and i'm glad you all check me out and get me together over here because yes y'all get me together some people don't some people let me slide <laughs> and i am in awe of that thank you but like i said some people come in them comments and they let me have another way of seeing things or they uh insist i see it another way and i'm like as long as you got facts and it's uh presented to me correctly yes honey i can see your point all day every day because everybody has a point of view everybody have a perspective do i agree with half of them probably not some i do some i don't but it doesn't make us stop being family we just respect each other's opinions and we move on to the next subject matter but okay i don't tear it a little bit too long but it is how we get down over here so i tell you to just bear and and, and grin on whatever till i get to the subject matter 
But uh, or you can fast forward to the subject matter. But either way, we have to uh, embrace everybody when they coming over to the house. Because it ain't all about a click and a view. It's about me getting to know you and you getting to know me. And we break bread together and we talk shit. Okay? About subject matter. Not each other. Okay? But anyway, we're going to go on into this news broadcasting a shooting on valentine's day at the olg second installation i believe it is or it might be the third one but i think it's the second one that's out in riverdale georgia which is kind of like a suburban type um what do you call it middle class setting uh because you can't say it's in a crime ridden area because hell i look at everything from the wealthiest uh populated communities to the poorest populated communities and there's crime all over okay in both sectors all right uh you just look at one as a higher priced crime rate and then it's just petty theft at the lower um community um type area excuse me <coughs> i took some um we call that some allergy medicine, so it's kind of making me sleep. But anyway, yes, let's go on and get into the story because um, all the news media here in Atlanta, Georgia, brought out uh, brought out a story on it when it was happening, unfolding, and the next day as well. But I wanted to give it a you know a little break to see if they can come up with a little bit more information. But it seems like it was just still refurbished recycled news from when they first broadcasted it or what had happened at her uh i think it's the second one because the one she has at the airport i think that was the third one but you know either one is her lease restaurants okay it's her lease restaurants so uh we going into it uh, i got it from nbcnews.com um uh, because she don't went national and Todd's name is trailing her, but it's really looking at Candy Burris and how she's solidifying herself out here. And personally, when I first heard it, I was like, damn, is Candy trying to, uh, what do you call it, garner up more uh, salacious news on herself to keep her relevant? Is it something like she plotted something to happen there, not for nobody to get hurt, but to just put her out there? And then I was like, well, okay, yeah, that, 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 that could be it. And then I thought, okay, she's circling with all these new friends in this elite type circuit. Did she not do something they wanted her to do so they had to put her on blast and let her know the little income that she is getting from her restaurants it ain't going to be half of what they're going to take for her if she don't do what they asked her to do. And that's like I said, a sacrificial type thing when she's floating up there with the elite. That's my conspiracy in mind thinking and then i was like okay well hell maybe just somebody got into it with somebody and they like okay you don't think i can get you i wait till you go to work and show up and then we'll see what gonna be popping off and of course they pop them shots up in there you see what i'm saying but they hit their intended target from what i'm understanding what the news media was saying but then they injured two more innocent bystanders as well now you're talking about somebody gonna be thinking about that for the longevity then they're gonna have to have an anniversary that's coming up when the new year comes um, to to talk about what happened that previous year now you're talking about something tainted that's tainted candy Woo -wee. wonder how you're gonna survive that one but you know uh fans are fickle consumers are fickle they might put a little tarnish it might be a little tarnish staple on your business right now but if your food is bamming and, and it's where it's jamming they're gonna come back uh tenfold or uh, like I said, if you nice out here in these streets, they'll still want to come. You're going to have some people that are apprehensive because don't nobody want to be in no place where something just got shot up in. You know, not right off. So you might lose a little business there. Maybe they'll go over to the OLG, other uh, sites you have. Maybe they just say, I don't want to go to that site right now till they do a full investigation until they don't caught said suspect that's still running out there here on them streets you know what i'm saying but it is what it is crime do happen everywhere but i hope it get better for you and it doesn't taint that particular business uh structure for the longevity but let's get on into the story it says um let me see nicole ac voto was the uh, columnist or journalist journalist that wrote up this particular article? They said shooting at Real Housewives of Atlanta star Candy Burris's restaurants injures threes. Now, from my understanding, just my side boy, I thought that this was Todd Tucker and her uh, adventure together. I Meaning these monies that is coming from the OLG restaurants and any other things that have partnership in. Shouldn't they have said Todd Tucker up there too? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just saying, if one person is going down burning in the sand, well, shouldn't another person be joining them? But they didn't say Candy Burris and Todd Tucker. They said Candy Burris. Okay. So I'm like, okay, now who really had that? Is this real a partnership in the OLG uh, restaurant or is it just yours, Candy? Go on and tell us because see the news media just putting your name out there. They ain't dragging your husband's name in nothing, okay? But anyway, that was her title. She goes on to give a little bit more, saying the Valentine's Day shooting injured one diner who police believe was the target and two bystanders, police said. The suspect is at large. My again, sidebar, Candy, did you do background checks on your employees, honey? Did you see or hear that they had criminal... Um, backgrounds did, did they pass that criminal background check girl because i'm telling you you don't need criminals working for you if they got people that's out there still trying to get a hold of them okay if we're talking about some gambling people or people that embe- well if they embezzle money they should be in a, that should be a white collar crime they should still be in jail they should be in a better uh type of situation than waiting tables or, and taking orders but i'm just saying that's just my mouth running and i'm gone without my mind i'm just on a free willy okay free willy type style over here okay but getting back to the article it says three people were shot inside a popular metro atlanta restaurant owned by real housewives of atlanta star candy burris okay still ain't uh bringing todd tucker name up in now nowhere but it's supposed to be a dual venture between the both of them but only candy name is being surfaced as being dragged through the mud of some unfortunate incident okay that's my sidebar not in this article going back to the article it says three people dining at a popular restaurant uh in georgia owned by a singer and real housewives of atlanta star candy birds were shot and wounded on valentine's day okay police said a man entered the olg restaurant in suburban atlanta on friday night around 8 p.m and shot another man who appears to have been the suspect's target as well as two other innocent bystanders okay the names and ages of the people injured weren't immediately released but all three suffered non-life-threatening injuries and are expected to survive said police in East Point, about eight miles south of downtown Atlanta. Authorities have not yet taken the shooter into custody. Captain Allen Glover told reporters on Friday night, but they are actively looking for the suspect or a suspect. Old Lady Ganga's restaurant owned by Burris and her husband, Todd Tucker. Oh, now they want to mention him after they got all the salacious news out. Now they want to mention small time taught okay but going back to the article it says the southern cuisine eatery is named after burris's mother and two aunts according to the restaurant website the couple opened the first restaurant in atlanta 2016 the one in east point where the shooting happened followed in 2018 the east point old lady game restaurant is located in a large shopping mall near the hartsfield jackson atlanta international airport there's also an outpost at the atlanta hawks home stand uh home state farm arena burris first became famous in the 1990s as a member of the r&b group escape and co-wrote tlc's hit no scrubs uh, now see i want to do my sidebar here for all the people that say we well, can't have money can is famous hot that candy candy okay again we got it in black and white when she was a part or a member of the 1990s R&B group Escape, and she wrote a co or co wrote TLC's hit No Scrubs. What is Candace's other claim to fame? What other business adventures has she had out there before entering in the arena of the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Okay, because first they weren't checking for Candy. They didn't know who Candy was, but that little resume of she co wrote. TLC's hit song, uh, No More Scrubs, and then she was a part of a R&B singer group in the 1990s. Okay, I'm here, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm hearing noise, white noise. That's what I'm saying, nothing. So, see people, uh, Candy really did need this, because te- te- for, uh, for me to tell the truth and shame the devil, uh, Tiny Harris was really approached uh, for the particular opening of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Not Candy Burris. If it was not for Tiny putting in the producer's uh, memory bank. And giving out Candy's number. And she's <coughs> definitely thumbing her up. That she would be a very good addition to the show. That she would have passed Candy by. 
Okay, because they weren't checking for candy birds at the time. So people get it straight in your minds. I know sometimes y'all don't want to face facts. You don't want to face truth. You want to fake like all these folks got it going on. No, that's what them people are showing you out there. But they're nine times out of ten working hard like everyday folks working nine to five trying to keep what they got or to attain you know some more stuff out there okay can't ain't no better than the rest of us everyday women out there doing the darn thing she puts on her panties the same way she put on her lipstick her makeup for those of who wear it and she goes out there and try to sell herself such as what we do on a daily basis when we go out there to our jobs or our entrepreneurship type of businesses we are owning okay and we're not just out there doing things on social media no we're going to the networks to see if we can get us some billboards out here in the state of georgia so people when they're riding around they can see these big ass billboards that we're marketing ourselves as well as we're getting tv ads and radio ads see that shit costs money that's when you know you're making money or you trying to make yourself on a higher level but when you're just using facebook and instagram and all like that's not that's something additional to what you already doing on that bigger platform you see what i'm saying so get it get it straight get it right okay good it got it good moving on back to the article Okay, it says she has been a cast member on the Real Housewives of Atlanta since the reality show uh, second season in 2009 and met her husband Tucker on the show. Burris has also appeared on other shows, including 2019 uh, Adoration of Big Brother Celebrity Edition. Okay, and that's pretty much where they stopped it. But like I said, even her being on Celebrity Big Brother had to come after the fact that she had been on Real Housewives of Atlanta. See, platforms like that set you up for that next level. But are you willing to take that money and that time to develop your shit while you're still on the show? You see what I'm saying? You got free promotion by doing it that way but you still need to elevate yourself and do things such as what i said about putting billboards up in the community and definitely marketing yourself on radio as well as the tv broadcastings okay when you have those cute little commercials that come out throughout the day it costs money but see you got to spend money to make money <coughs> <clears throat> and that's where I'm going with it. And that's why I'm pretty much leaving with it. Because that's all I had to report. I had to get some people straight. Thinking they're part of the family affair when they're not. Because you don't come over to the driveway. Or like I said where I left you at the porch. Trying to assimilate yourself into something. Well we had not even got to know you yet. Okay. That's not what we do. Before you can come family. We have to know something about you. So to others who want to step and jump froggy. And feel like they want to come over and say whatever they think they want to say and they don't think they are above reproach okay no you would get your ass handed to you just like you try to put your ass out there for me to uh kiss okay no we don't do that up uh, there up chanel's for this world okay and if i had to keep reiterating this i will okay because we don't want people to get out of order we don't we like strictly order in the house all right we don't want no funny things happening we don't want people coming thinking they could say anything they feel like they want to say other than speaking it on subject matter no we don't do that we don't have chaos in in the house no we don't we have chaos when we have to go out there and deal with the real world but when we're at home when we're on the family affair this is home. This is sanctuary. We want to be able to voice our opinions and nobody come for us. Okay. It's a platform where you get to say what you want to say. Just as long as you're saying it respectfully. You get to interact with other, other family members. Who wants to say what they got to say about subject matter. But don't it, it does not turn nasty where people got to go at each other and call each other out their names. Now, see, we don't have that over him. That's why we're growing over here because it's a uh, avenue where... I give, you take, you take, I give. It's, you know, it's an exchange. It's an understanding between us. And we want peace over him. We will demand peace. We will have peace up in this house, okay? But that's all I have for the video. Y'all get down in them comments. Uh, We're going to shout out straight from the A for using her little thing. I think I use Layla Lynn sometimes. I can't really see when I uh, be putting my videos together. But we don't want to disrespect them on anything because they are definitely YouTube 
content creators, they go, they're definitely way over my numbers. Hopefully to get there one day, but we're going to take it one day at a time. That's what we do. God give us breath. We up above the ground instead of below the ground. We're going to do what we got to do. Okay. And that's me loving on one another, but I just wanted to shout them out. Um, uh, straight from the A, uh, ATL and Michelle Brown. Check her out. She has her own YouTube platform and she is a blogging specialist as well. As well as I've used uh, some pictures of um, Lovely T. Was it not one Lovely T? It was, uh, damn, I forgot her name. Leela, Layla Lynn TV. Go over there and check her out. She has an excellent platform. And definitely check out my girl. She's just <laughs> starting up. Had a little few things going on with her. One of her stations that she had to, you know, remarket herself and put it out on another platform because she was having issues uh, with one of her channels. But it's uh, Sunray TV. Lover, lover, lover. She's uh, a, a one man, a one woman person over there doing multifaceted things. She cooks. She sells jewelry. She sells makeup. Uh, she gives entertainment news. She's just a, a beautiful spirit, a beautiful woman. So, y'all support me. Go on over there and support her. Check out her channel. You'll love her to death. Um, she's one of our, our family members over here. So, we want to shed love and we want everybody to grow. Because everybody can eat off this big YouTube platform. You know, everybody can eat. We can uh, recognize the mm -hmm. one that ain't got but one subscriber to the ones that got a million. Okay? It just is what it is. That's my plight over here. That's how I feel about people that i interact with and i come to know on the tube all right but anyway y'all get down in them comments y'all uh let me hear what y'all got to say because i do read y'all comments and i be laughing my ass off sometimes about how y'all get down in them comments okay and i love the comments that are back to me y'all get me together in a respectful way and then sometimes y'all tell me don't preach that shit there go preach that shit i'll be right there with y'all <laughs> <laughs> I be laughing at my own shit. But anyway, that's all I had, guys. I will see y'all for the next review. I'll probably do another uh, commentary before uh, the commentary for tonight on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, and that's Miss Bertha. I see her, honey. She probably keep her family busy, too. She probably cussing everybody else out in her house. That's pretty much what I do. <laughs> so, thank you, uh, Cat. Cat Mo, Cat Mo, fifty nine. Talking about, do I sound and probably act like Aunt Bertha? Yes, I probably do. I can be your Aunt Bertha if that's what you want me to be. That's what you see me as. Cool beans. I can be that too. But other than that, I have my sisters and my brothers over here on the on the show. So y'all greet each other. Y'all have love for one one another. And I will see y'all next video. Okay, but don't forget to subscribe and like and share my videos, guys, so we can grow up and be bigger than what we thought we could attain. All right, blessings to you all. Bye-bye.